anti-mobility test. The reason we are performing this test is because we need a certain degree of dorsiflexion in the ankle joint when we are performing locomotion movements such as walking and running. She will start squatting down, bending her knees, and she will go as far down as she can without, of course, feeling any pain. You can see that her center of mass is above her feet. The knees have not slided out and uh, she maintains uh, the feet position. She has not widened her feet. You can try to perform the same test uh, by having your heels uh, on uh, a slightly elevated surface. And she would uh, try to uh, squat again. And uh, we would be able to compare the difference between her previous depth of the squat and uh, this one. The ankle mobility test is a very revealing one as uh, it indicates uh, our ankle's ability to dorsiflex, a movement that is involved in many activities we perform on a daily basis, such as uh, walking, squatting, a lot of balancing postures. So if you found uh, this movement uh, a, a bit restricted, I suggest you take a closer look into the function of your feet and check out uh, a video I have uh, um, put together with uh, seven assessments uh, of the foot. I would be curious to know if uh, you, your mobility in dorsiflexion of the ankle was the same between left and right. And uh, if uh, you can associate uh, this restriction in the mobility of, of the ankle with any other problems you are experiencing in the rest of the leg. So let me know in the comments area. Feel free to subscribe to my channel as uh, there is plenty of other assessments not only for the foot uh, but uh, for other joints as well.